What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a VPN in a NAT server. So for those who doesn't know, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. So Virtual Private Network, it is a technology which allow users to access and share file on the public network as they are in the private. For example, this guy here want to access the internet or try to access their private company servers. In order to make sure that the data is encrypted and nobody can see it or me, man in the middle attack, can come to the network, they encrypt the connection. As a result, this guy, they have a better and secure network. So VPN technology was developed uh, to allow remote user and branches to securely access corporation application in order in other resources to ensure security data will travel through security tunnel and vpn user would use authentication method including password token and so on so if i am working for a company so i can work from home i need to enable a vpn a virtual private network in order to access the file of the company for security for better security for both okay so let's get back to our stories in Windows Server 2019, we need to go to Manage, Add Roles and Features, Next, Next. Uh, first of all, you need to have an IP address and you need to have um, Active Directory Domain Services and ADDS. If you don't know, follow my other videos related to how to install an Active Directory. Click Next. Now here, install from here, Remote Access. Remote Access will allow you to enable VPN and NAT. Okay, click next, 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 choose routing. Once you select routing by default, it's uh, installing a VPN. Next. Okay, next. Restart the destination server automatically if required, install. And that's kind of how it is. Okay, guys. So meantime, before these things is installing, we need to do extra steps in order to make an ad. Okay, so first NAT stands for Network Address Translate, okay? So let's put here NAT, okay, NAT, okay. NAT, NAT stands for Network Address Translate. Network Address tra Translate, a lot. okay, let's put here Network Address Translate. Okay, so Network Address Translate will allow you to translate private IP address into public. So we have three type of NAT. We have static, which allow you to translate one private IP address into one public. For example, if I have an IP address here, 192.168.1.1. Okay, let's make this one a little bit smaller. Okay. And I want to translate it to a public one. I can do it. However, this is very absolute. So we go here, let's say 200, 201, 202, 200. This is my public IP address, okay? As a result, I can translate a private IP address into public one, which is not very good because remember, in your company, you have multiple clients interconnected. As a result, you need to borrow so many IP address. So they figure out this is not very good. Then they make dynamic. Dynamic make a pool of private IP address. 192.168.1.1.2.3 and they translate to a pool of public, uh, to a pool of five public. However, it's still not enough. If you look on any home these days, there are at least five, six devices like two smartphones, a laptop, a printer, a computer. All of it are connected to the internet. And the most technology in order to access the internet is PAT. PAT stands for Port Address Translate it will translate as many private IP address into only one public. However, the only change uh, was this, they only changed the, the port number. So in here, as you can see, we have multiple computers interconnected, 1, 2, uh, 1.2, 1.3 and 1.4. All of those guys, they will be translated in the same public number but with different port numbers so in case we want to try to make a NAT in to the server first things we need to add a second NIC card anyway so first let's go to our server meantime these things is installing we need to go to open network and internet settings 
Okay, we go to the setting. Uh, okay, here is the settings. Uh, Ethernet adapter, change network and sharing center. Change adapter settings. So first things, what I would like to do, I would like to rename the net, the NAT, the network adapter. Sorry, the the Ethernet. Why? Because I will have two Ethernet adapter. One will be connected to the wide area network, and one will be private. One will be public. One will be private. So this one will be uh, public. Okay, good. Let me get a uh, public IP address. Right click, properties. Internet protocol version 4 property obtain automatically IP address. So I would like this to be uh, my public network. So I go to the settings of my virtual machine, my server, my domain settings, okay. Network adapter, and I will put them to NAT, network address translate, okay. As a result, very soon I will be able to have access to the internet. So just take a while, it starts identifying and so on. So as you can see, right now I have internet. Hit Windows R from the keyboard, CMD ping google.ca so as a result as you can see i have internet now i need to add the second NIC card settings add yes network adapter this one will be selected as a host only which is a which is a private network remember this will be connected to the internet and this one will be a private network hit ok it takes a while until it's loading all of those stuff. Okay. I have a second Ethernet adapter. Right click on this one. I will name it private. Okay. This one I will put my own IP address. Private. Right click properties. Ethernet protocol version 4. Use the following IP address. 192. 192.168.1.200 192.168.1.200 and of course the gateway has to be the same oh no sorry you don't need to put any gateway in here okay you need to put a gateway into the client later on so we have two network adapter one will be connected as a, a LAN and the other will be connected as a wide area network so meantime we need to install a couple of other settings in order to achieve this okay so my installation previous installation has been installed okay okay what's going on with this one okay so remember public is connected to the internet private has a private ip address okay deploy vpn only now Remember, we have installed a role called remote access, right? Here. We need to install another role, network policy and access server. This one will allow us to install VPN to create policy, which allow this policy to be enforced and so on. Okay, meantime, before this VPN is installing, we can go and pass to the work okay tools remote access routing and remote access our server is not configured so we need to configure it right click configure and enable routing and remote access next you don't choose remote access or network address translate because i would like to use both so custom configuration click next vpn access and nat so i choose vpn access and network address translate Okay, so click finish. It says that the service need to be start up. Yes. Click start up. Takes a while and then we can start continuously continuing with the, the network. Okay, click finish.
So as you can see, our routing and remote access has been created. The first things we need to do in here is to go to NAT. Right click on NAT, new interface, public. You see it's appear my private and my public network, public. Public interface connect to the internet and enable NAT. Hit apply, hit OK. Now right click one more time, new interface private and this one is private so now we create we have two NIC cards those NIC cards will allow me to create a DMZ will allow me to create a firewall between the private network and the public network so if you look in here um, where is it if you look in here I will have my own private network and my own public network as well both of those things will help me out creating the NAT the second thing is to enable um, was this routing and remote N N NPS network policy. Network policy server will allow me to enable VPN on my computer. So expand policy. You can go to the policies. Okay, hold on here. Network policy. We have two policy. Both are disabled by default. So we can make a new policy, or you can use the one which is already created by Microsoft. Double click on any one of them, grant access, and here specify VPN dial up. You can have different condition and containers. You can take ask them different time session, how much times take them to authenticate, what kind of method, and what kind of security they use. So if you want to just play with for your own, your own fun, you just leave it the way they are and you can hit apply, hit OK. Once you finish, double click on the second policy, grant access, type of network, VPN dial up, hit OK. This one you can create groups as well, you can add condition, settings and so on. So we enable these kind of things in here as well. Okay. So let's confirm if we still have internet ping google.ca so as you can see we have internet. Now let's type ipconfig. We have our own private IP address and our own public. Is actually this one is private as well but because we use NAT in here network uh, NAT it allow me to translate this private into a public so I still have internet. Okay, so I finished my roles into the network policy server and the routing and remote. I can go to my Windows client in here and I can try to connect to the internet from the private network. If you look on the settings of my Windows 10 client, the network adapter is to host only to a private network. As a result, this guy cannot have internet. So if you click open a network and sharing center, change adapter settings, right click properties, use the following IP address 192.168.1.25 uh, let's say 25, gateway 192.168.200 and my IP address is 200 as well. 200 is the DNS and 200 is my VPN, my server as well. Okay, CMD ping google.ca I would like to yes I would like to be discoverable by others so right now I get informed by my server if you look at the routing and remote access and we go to the NAT settings you will see a lot of packets start passing to uh, through our network Uh, show mapping twenty five open network and sharing change adapter settings right click property So if you look, my IP address on the client, on the Windows 10, 
is 192.168.1.25 and my DNS is 200 which is the private network. So as you can see my, priv my, pri my private IP address from the client can map a public IP address which is one of the IP address from the machine. Now as you can see I have internet let's try to go even internet browsing to see if we get one of those things in there meanwhile we will try to install this let's try to make our vpn right click open network and sharing center okay set up a new connection or network connect to a workplace so in case you haven't seen is set up a new connection or network connect to a workplace use my internet connection VPN internet address 192.168.1.200 which is my private IP address a.um.ca allow other people to use this credentiality Okay, create. So as you can see, we still have internet on the browser. So as you can see, the internet works. So let's wait until the VPN is start making it. Okay, so now we create our VPN you can click on the network on the left you see we have a.atom.ca click on a.atom.ca because is this is our VPN network a.atom.ca connect administrator at your domain you create and input the password connecting as you can see it's still connect to my private 192.168.1.200 as you can see here I'm connected so I'm connected to my own VPN server I have enabled NAT as well so I have internet from this guy here and I have my own VPN as well so as you can see I still connect to my own network I have my VPN as well let's go to internet okay welcome to whatever okay google.ca Ah, come on, CMD, ping google.ca, okay, so as you can see, we have internet, we are connected to the private network, and yet we have our own VPN server as well. Thank you so much, guys, hopefully you like my videos, thank you so much, and don't forget to subscribe, have a good day.